Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So the question for today is, what's the best major for um, the pre-dental route, right? You want to go to dental school, what, what's the best major for you? So I want to start off by saying that I was a biology major in college. Um, I knew before I went to college that I was going to be a biology major only because I did like bio, I do like biology and also I went to high school in Ghana and the system there was a little different where in high school we kind of had to choose a major so I was a science major and I took biology, chemistry, physics and math for three years and so I kind of like liked, I mean not kind of, I did like it and I knew that I wanted to go, um, I wanted to continue to take biology um, and I also knew that I wanted to go into the pre, you know, the health field um, generally. So I thought, you know, I'm familiar with biology and I've done it for a while. So why not continue? So that's why I did. I decided to major in biology. So first of all, there is no like specific major that you need to get into dental school. You can get into dental school with any major. The only thing is you have to have taken the specific prerequisites for dental school, right? So you can take, be an English major, biology, chemistry, you can be a history major, whatever it is, French, um, Spanish, whatever whatever interests you, you can do that in college, um, but you just have to make sure that you also take um, the prerequisites for dental so, so for the most part, um, a lot of dental students, I know a lot, I'm sure like more than half of the students in my class, half of my classmates, majored in biology or chemistry or some science. Um, but then you also have a couple people that were like English majors or music or art majors. Um, and that kind of makes them unique, right? So people go the biology route and the chemistry route and stuff, um, you know, the sciences only because it... Um, it kind of helps you kill two birds with one stone, right? So by being a biology major and pursuing a degree in biology, I get the I get all the requirements for that degree, and I also am able to knock out all my prerequisites for dental school, right? So I don't have to do any like I guess extra work, and also you get to take all these um, upper level biology classes. You know, you may take like cell biology, microbiology. Some people may take gross anatomy, and um, you know, which help you fulfill your biology degree requirements. And at the same time, it helps you for dental school because you kind of have an idea, you know, if you have to, when you have to take microbiology in dental school, you've you may have taken it before. And so you kind of have like a base baseline, you know? Um, so that's the good part about being like a biology major. Um, now, if you don't want to be a biology major and you know, you're very interested in, for example, let's say French, right? You want to be a French major, go ahead and do that, you know, do what makes you happy in college. Um, but just realize that but you also have to fulfill the requirements for pre-dental, for dental school, right? So by being a French major, there may not be, maybe you might have to take like one science class and one math class, but you don't have to like take organic chemistry or general chemistry or physics or whatever. So you might have to go the extra mile, um, take maybe more classes than you need to in order to fulfill the prerequisites and the, um, your degree, right? So that's the thing. It's like you may have to take more classes. You may have to take some summer classes um, if you're not a science major. But, you know, ultimately, um, I think that by being a non-science major, it makes you unique, right? You go on these interviews and you're sitting with, um, you're, you have these interviews with all these other people that are all biology majors or, I guess, uh, science majors. And you're here and you're like a Spanish major, right? So that makes you interesting because you go into the interview and it's something unique about you. So the interviewers um, have something to ask you, you know, oh, wow, why Spanish? You know, and you have something to go off of. And they might remember you more than just like one of the other biology majors like me, right? Because a lot of us are biology majors. So that's the plus about being a non-science major. That and it also, I guess, just expands your horizon, right? So you do make it into dental school. You're going to be taking all science classes for the most part. But by getting a degree in like music or art, you have that extra... Um, no, you have the extra knowledge, you know, you're just more, I guess, well-rounded in that another subject area besides biologies and the chemistries and the physics. Okay, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, there is no one specific major to get you into dental school. Um, I don't think there's any one that makes you more uh, competitive. Anything, it just makes you more unique, you know, if you're not a non-science major, which is good, you know, you want to be as unique as possible in your application. Um, there is no pre-dentistry major. You know, I haven't heard of anyone that has gotten their bachelor's in pre-dentistry. Pre-dentistry, like pre-med and pre-law and all the other pre-professional stuff is just a pathway, right? So it just kind of helps guide you um, to get into dental school. So it's not really a specific, it's not a major as far as I know. 
um, you can be whatever you want. So, which is good, right? So if you're in college now and you're doing something that you absolutely love and you're thinking about dental school, I say keep doing what you're doing, you know, keep getting those good grades and what you really love and also um, do well in the science classes because that proves to the dental school that you are, you're able to take the science classes and guess what, like I have this extra push. And of course, if you're like, if you were like a biology major like me, and you like biology, that's great because you also have the advantage of you took microbio, so now that you're taking microbio in, in um, dental school, it looks familiar. It may not like help you all the way because it's a different level of microbiology or gross anatomy, but at least you have like a push, like you have a baseline um, that maybe someone who didn't take microbiology or whatever upper level class um, may have. All right, I think that's it for now, and I will see you guys later. Bye.